This is Twit. I'll try and show this off because it's a little complicated. I have to, I, I I feel like it's it's an app that I was made aware of this morning as I was looking through, and I was like, oh, this is like an app with with a following that finally made it to Android from iOS, and I and so I selected it and I spent a good amount of time with it, and it's definitely an app that requires some solid time. Like I feel like I'm only just beginning to kind of understand the flow of it. Anyways, what is it? It's called Notion. And apparently this is a productivity app that has been out on iOS for quite a while. It's a the kind of kind of app that allows you to either use it on a single like for for just you for organizing how you how you plan your day and for for preparing for projects and all this kind of stuff but it also uh can work on teams and kind of with a, a wiki style approach but it's got a kind of an interesting workflow to it so I'll, I'll do my best to kind of show it off uh back to my content that does exist i know it does there we go all right so i've set up a workspace here this is this is notion in effect it's free uh, for personal use, uh, there's also a four dollar a month personal plan, and then there's I think an eight dollar a month business plan where you can get into Teams and everything. But I'm just showing off the free version. So basically, you can set up any number of pages around how whatever you want to do, right? So I've got my workspace, and within my workspace, I've set up a weekly agenda. There's a quick notes section if I want to have a place for notes, an office calendar, um, some other things here that I was just kind of picking randomly. And as I embed them within my workspace, if I go to my workspace, things are kind of laid out in an easy to use way, right? So I could tap on weekly agenda. It takes me through to here, and I can organize my week within the calendar here, add to it, um, as need be and that sort of stuff. Uh, quick note is another example. You can, you can format this. I think, I think kind of the benefit of this is if you have a little bit of organizational skills, you can format this any way you want. And the, the benefit of that being that if you want to come up with a system that makes you really effective in completing these projects or setting things up so that you can reference them later, you can really go to town and, and, do all sorts of things. And a lot of these things that you're looking at here are just examples of ways that you can set them up. You can create sub pages within pages that take you to other places to create lists. Uh, so in, in that sense, it takes a little while to kind of really understand the flow of everything uh, that you have here. An office calendar where I could embed items within the calendar. If I had this shared with other members of my team, we'd all be kind of contributing to a similar workspace, uh, adding contents or, um, adding kind of conversations within these so we can, you know, send notes to each other within all of these workspaces. You can customize how it looks, that cover, the uh, the emoji right there, which I'll go ahead and uh, do my standard emoji. There we go. Uh, and <laughs> Nice. Yeah. And so I've got it all embedded within my workspace, right? If I wanted to add something from scratch, I can go add page. I'm given a blank template, but then down here you see all of these different types of pages uh, that you can get into and they have kind of created these templates for you. So you're not starting from square one coding guidelines. Go ahead and jump in that. It gives you a kind of a visual sense of what that template looks like. And then from there, you can just decide to use it. It brings it into, um, into your interface. And now you can change this however you want, but this acts as kind of a, a starting point for you. So you know how you can format things and keep things kind of dialed into this style. It's really powerful. And uh, like I said, I, I feel like it requires more time than I was able to give to it today. But it, everything's super expandable and super customizable. So if you've got a sense for organization around projects and you want kind of a platform with which to build your your organizational uh, sense into and really kind of make your own. This seems like a cool kind of playground for that, uh, so to speak. So you can kind of make it your own and really kind of uh, set it up however you like. What how are you most effective? And uh, you know, customize it and make it enjoyable to kind of live in from a project perspective. Um, worth checking out at least to see if it's going to make you more pro uh, productive over time. It's called Notion, and uh, I'm sure I'm missing some components of this. It's uh, Notion, Notes, Tasks, Wikis, and it's just a gr great kind of place to you know store information for reference for your teams or manage your own personal workflow. It's called Notion, and uh, there is a free version. I, I mean, it's free to install it, and everything that I've done and shown off is free. So uh, check it out for yourself. See if it makes you more productive.